Good morning. I got some coffee cake, some homemade coffee cake and a nice cup of coffee. Um, is it going? Yeah. I'm just barely making it this morning. Anyway, so lately I have been watching a lot of um, murder mysteries and murder documentaries. And um, I just really like the science that goes into finding the culprit and the inter investigative and interrogative methods. Go play. Anyway, but something struck out to me when I was watching it. And we were watching um, The Innocent Man. And it's about this one little small town that had two big murders where they couldn't find the um, the guilty party. And in both cases, seemingly innocent men went to jail for it. One of them was exonerated. The other still sits in jail. Well, it was two parties to each crime. So two technically got out of jail and two are still sitting in jail. And one of them's name is Tommy. I can't remember his name. But, um... The DA was talking about his case, and he said, people expect God to intervene, and he doesn't. If he intervened for every case, there would be no innocent parties in jail. And that's not true. It's just not. Peter was in jail. Was it Peter? Peter or Paul? One of them was in jail for a long time. I don't know. I'm barely making it this morning. They were in jail and they didn't do nothing. I want to say Paul. I don't know. I should know this. Anyway, so um, I've got some Bible verses to prove that. To prove that God does intervene. And the first one is Psalms 46.1. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble ever present always there he's not going away he's not he's not going he's he's there in the courtroom okay. he's not going away and if he's there he's in control we know that the second being Deuteronomy 31 6 be strong and courageous do not be afraid or terrified because of them for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you or forsake you. So he's not only always there, but he doesn't forsake us either. So, what does that mean for innocent people in jail? Well, <clears throat> Kenny? But what does it mean for innocent people in jail? I don't know. I don't, just, it's part of the plan. And they say that everything happens for a reason. And not necessarily everything happens for a reason. Because I don't think there's a reason that, you know, you would have Cocoa Puffs over Fruit Loops this morning. But God is there. And that's important to remember. Next, we move on to Proverbs 19.21. Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. So, God's in control. His plan is in control. He's always there, and he doesn't forsake us. So, why is that guy in jail? Well... To figure that out, we move right on over to 1 Peter 3.14. If I can find it again. But even if you should suffer for what is right, you are blessed. Do not fear their threats. Do not be frightened. But in your hearts, revere Christ as Lord. Always be prepared and give it. Well, that's going into the next verse. Anyway. But even if you should suffer for what is right, you are blessed. So even if you do suffer, you're blessed. So, 
God's always there. He doesn't leave us or forsake us. His plan prevails, so God's will prevails. But if you suffer, you'll be rewarded. So, to me, that, that says that he is there when innocent people are convicted. He might have a plan for them. Think about how many people have been touched because of this man's story. How many people have been freed from their false imprisonment because of tests that have come up through, like Stephen Avery, for instance. And Brendan Dassey's mom, uh, Barbara, is making an, a law that, uh, or is trying to push a bill that would stop people under the age of, I think, 18, 16 or 18, from being interviewed, interrogated. I, I'm not here today. Interrogated without an adult or lawyer present. Um, I don't even remember, but that Tommy guy, they changed something for him as well. And all these changes are coming about, and all these people are being touched, and all these lives are being changed because of these people. Did they do it? I don't know. Will they get out? I don't know. But God's there. God put them there. God gave them a platform. So don't tell me that God doesn't intervene. And for anybody out there that's suffering today, that maybe you're falsely imprisoned. Maybe you have made a prison of your life. Maybe you're just having a bad day. God is ever present. God doesn't forsake you. God's will prevails. And if you suffer for doing right, you will be rewarded. Sounds simple enough to me.